John Morgan says he spent $10 million passing the medical marijuana amendment. It got 71% of the vote. And as a successful trial lawyer, his name is plastered on buses and buildings. Now there's a draft John Morgan for governor movement. John Clark even brought buttons to the Capital City Tiger Bay luncheon. He is a good, strong man uh, that we need for Florida. Morgan himself is undecided. He talked about the negative personal attacks in the marijuana campaign as an eye-opener of what could come. Is, does this fit my success to significance, or is it really just an ego trip that might destroy me in the end? Those are the things that I think about. But it's clear he's been thinking about the issues on which he would run. At the top of the list, a higher minimum wage. People do not make enough money to survive. He called the idea of private prisons misplaced, says he would end the war on teachers, and told the crowd to stop criticizing the president. We got to hope he succeeds, don't we? He would also decriminalize marijuana. The war on drugs has failed. It's a great failure. Morgan & Morgan spends $80 million a year on advertising, and that means that John Morgan doesn't have to make a decision for another year or so. And as he concluded the hour-long speech, it was clear the highly political crowd was impressed. I think you could be a superb governor. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.